Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at a lighting source that every single home should have in case of an emergency a kerosene lantern. Stay tuned. So there's a lot of talk these days about preparedness, about being ready for emergencies. Uh, we see all the time storms hit, and uh, whether it be a winter storm, a tornado, whatever it might be, and it can knock power out for weeks. And we need to be able to take care of ourselves. Now, early in my channel, I did quite a bit of preparedness videos. You can go back and check those out. And next year, we'll be starting some more preparedness videos here on the channel, even some that are kind of a review. And this is one of them. I have done a video on lanterns, but I think that they're such an important tool that I wanted to highlight them again and show you guys the kerosene lanterns that I keep at the house. These are great lanterns to have because they're really easy to take care of. All you need is some wicks and some kerosene, and kerosene will last a long time. It's fairly inexpensive, and uh, the amount of kerosene that they burn is very minimal, even if you use them quite a bit. Now, in the case of an emergency, you need viable light. You need something that you can turn on. Now, of course, flashlights are great, but batteries run out and eventually you run out of all your batteries and you have a problem. It's much easier to store and much more inexpensive to store a large volume of kerosene that you'll be able to burn in these lanterns. Now, the lanterns that I have, I bought at Walmart. They're about $9. I have two or three of them and I keep them at the house. I use them uh, on an everyday basis. If we have power outages, I crank these things on. There's no reason to light up uh, flashlights or whatever when we have these lanterns and they put out very good light. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in. We're gonna take a look at this particular model. You can find it at pretty much any Walmart and I'll show you the things I like about it. All right guys, so here's the lantern that I have. Very simple lantern. This uh, top up here you can see comes up and that's how you uh, remove the actual glass. Now we're gonna leave the glass in. You can see here, this is the actual um, cap for the fuel. You put your kerosene in there and this knob right here, very simply, adjusts the wick. I'm going to show you guys. You can just see as I bring the wick up, you can see it coming up and bring it down. Of course, that wick sits in the kerosene and draws up the kerosene, and that's how you actually uh, burn it. Now, we're going to start this. I like this model a great deal because of this little lever right here. As you can see, you push down on this lever, and it locks in place, and it makes it very accessible, you can see there, for you to actually light it. So I'm going to light it. Just reach in there, light that wick. Once you light the wick, you can adjust it a little bit. We'll go ahead and drop the lantern or drop the co cover. Now you'll see that if you over correct it, you start to get a lot of black smoke. You can see it. You don't want to go that high. You can adjust it just high enough so that you have good light without getting smoke. So here's the light in the dark. Now, of course, it doesn't put out light like an LED light does, but it's super easy to carry. You just grab it by its top here, and you can take it wherever you want. Very easily, very efficiently, you can move light. If you want to turn it off, you have to be able to reach the wick. So you just open this up and blow it out. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the most efficient, in my opinion, way of lighting your house in an emergency. Uh, it's really easy to find kerosene. You could buy it at any home improvement store. Um, I buy a really large volume and I just get a little siphon and I pump it out and I can use it in here. You can buy a pretty huge can, a five gallon can for about $39, $40 at Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever it might be. You can buy smaller amounts at uh, Walmart and things like that. This particular model comes with a wick. It also comes with a small uh, funnel that you can use to put kerosene in. Uh, it's pretty small. You might want to get a bigger one. I have one. Uh, because the kerosene, for some reason, getting kerosene out of those little containers always leads to kerosene everywhere for me. If any of you guys have tips on how not to, you know, spill it when you pour, I don't know. I actually bought an aluminum water bottle that uh, I store most of my kerosene in, and it's much easier for me to pour into the funnel for these little things. As you saw, this particular model, for being a $9 model, has lots of great um, features. It most importantly, I think it's easy to light, easy to turn off because you're able to lift the glass very easily. 
Uh, there's really not many moving parts, so there's nothing that can go wrong. So in a survival situation or an emergency situation where you need light, I think these lanterns are pretty foolproof. As always guys, I appreciate y'all watching Paleo Hiker MD. This was just a short video to show you guys in detail a little bit about these kerosene lanterns that we use here at the house for emergency situations. It seems like every day you're seeing more and more storms or more and more uh, issues that are causing large power outages and we need to be ready for those. This is an easy way for you and your family to be ready so you won't be left out in the dark. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and particularly more preparedness videos in the coming months uh, here on Paleo Hiker MD. We'll see y'all soon.